I bought a horse, man. You bought How a about horse. That? I did see this. How about that? Old Swift Delivery. Swift Delivery. So did the name prompt interest or did the I'll, horse? I'll, I'll say, you know, when the stars align. You know, yeah. it's just it feels good to, so how did to the jump stars on board. Work? How does one go about buying a racehorse or even finding out how to buy a racehorse? Take us through this process. Yeah. So you have uh, you have really good friends that are good people that okay. are into horse racing. That, so the Zoldans. Uh, yes, the Zoldans. <laughs> uh, Bruce and Alex Zoldan. I've known Alex for about 10 years plus now since I've been in the league. And uh, fellow Ohioan, shout out to you, Youngstown. Uh, family that we all got and um yeah the zoldans are just uh, they're an awesome family they, they own phantom fireworks one of my favorite uh fireworks stores up in uh ohio and, and throughout the midwest or really throughout the country and i've just uh i've had so much fun going to events with them and just building our relationship and sure enough they were at the super bowl yeah they came uh they invited me to the derby this year and i had one of the best times ever at the derby Love it. As they were my host. And sure enough, I was like, man, that'd be fun to like get involved and like see uh, one of your horses like in a race like that, that. That seems like it would be a fun, fun thing to be a part of knowing that they've actually had a horse win in I think it was the early 2000s. It was uh, it was a horse called Magic Kingdom. Magic fun Kingdom. Name. Yeah, it was like a fun name. Disney name. Yeah, they won the Derby. That is. And uh Wow. Yeah, sure enough, they they asked me if I wanted to jump in on a three year old that they had, uh, and the name was uh, it, it made sense to uh, to team up with this one, uh, it being Swift Delivery. What's cool is that the, the the different style of horses. Some some horses get out to a fast start and try and like lead the pack and just take off and like yeah, they're sprinters. Yes, and then the others are like the finishers, right? The ones that kind of come around the 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 last turn or the last two turns the ones that and got make the that straightaway stretch. That just yeah. lets them last. So <laughs> that's my psycho. question: Does Swift Delivery have an enlarged heart? No. Do you know how big its heart is? Uh, no. See, that'd be the first thing I'd be doing is I'd be getting a ultrasound and seeing how thing, big this thing's heart is. Yeah. Well, that's you. I just got on board because it was fun and I could team up with a good friend of mine. <laughs> I don't, I'm not in it to look at the size of the hearts. Uh, and, uh, I like the way that Swift Delivery ran. I've seen like three or four races that Swift Delivery has been in. And sure enough, I uh, heard nothing but great reviews. And it's more of a finishing horse. It comes around that turn and just hits, hits the just like top speed and kind of saves the last, uh, the last like straightaway for, uh, with all the juice that it's got. So as you did say, it is a three-year-old horse, so it's not eligible to participate in any of the Triple Crown races. Correct. At this point, how much longer will this thing race for? And what's the end goal? To like, hopefully it wins some and then you get to stud it out? You're asking questions that I have no no answer for. <laughs> You're asking me not, absolutely no questions. I know its next race is going to be somewhere within the next like two months. You said it finished second place last time? Yeah, up in uh, Woodbine. Yeah, up in Toronto this past weekend was second place finish. It was a wet, weird weather. The ground wasn't in its like in its best like suited racetrack for uh, Swift Delivery. So we still got a lot of faith in it. So Swift Delivery is a a dry track racer. It's not a good on the wet track. I'm not sure how it switched. I just know that the it it didn't make it easier for Swift Delivery. Have you thought about giving it more steroids? To improve its second place finish to first place? It does not. I'm not answering that question because it does not take steroids. <laughs> what do you think this is? The 1970s? <laughs> Everything's regulated now, Jason. Oh, man. We actually care about the horses. Are you sure? Jason, just leave it at that. <laughs> All right.